I wonder if I can do any good impressions through the mic. Because when I do them, I think I'm doing doing a great job. Hmm? Cleveland? <laughs> you know, I've never tried Cleveland. That's pretty Yo, good. That's not bad. bad. I mean, I only just copy what Matt <laughs> does. That's true. Hi, right, Peter. Oh, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Yeah. I'm not hey, retarded. Uh, Patty, yeah. I can only do <laughs> Joe. That was really good. I can, I can like maybe only do Joe. Well, at Bonnie comes. Right, that was bad. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was, that was peaks. That was a heavy peaks. That was a good old p- p- peak. Uh, oh, Brian. That was, uh, <coughs> he nailed Quagmire. Oh, Brian. Mm, it's it's between those two. <laughs> it's it's kind of up here, but like also down here a little bit. <laughs> Welcome to Pillow World, Bri. <laughs> Let me get up and greet you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that actually Hi. sounds a lot. That's, have you improved since the last time? Uh, impressions? Yeah. Yeah, it depends, man. We could give a few a go if the thing is right. Okay. <laughs> if la hora is correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Welcome back to Spanish 101 with two people. That are we don't going speak or are we not doing? I don't know. We were kind of half going. I was doing it. Are you like, going on that? What? Are we I, going? It was going. No, I just had to kind of hit it. You know, I got to assemble stuff. For you the, hit it. The Patreon. This is bonus content. Do the clap thing. Oh. Hit, hit it with a little ball slap. <laughs> 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 that was actually a unit of measurement when I went to trade school. A ball slap? One Holy. ball slap? It, it, it's a, a unit of measure. Something you can't quantify, but you can. Qu- Qualify? I don't know, but he's no, like, you want to have enough room that it can, you know, a little ball slap. <laughs> and he, he spread his legs and he just went like that. And, you know, we're like, we're men. We're like, aha, yes, ball slap. Of course. Aha. Brilliant. You are a brilliant mind, sir. <laughs> I know ball slap better than anybody else. I'm not even going to attempt to because we're doing Russian accent. We're clearly doing like learning nuclear physics. Yeah, clearly. This bomb has ball slap. Okay, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I almost went straight to like a North Korea nuke joke. <laughs> I mean, not going there because uh, A, I would butcher the accent, and B, it probably wouldn't be funny. Yes, all of our submarines are equipped with ball slapping torpedoes. <laughs> Anyways, back to business. Bienvenido, a Nuestra podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the President's Choice podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was informed the other day, and I told you this earlier, that apparently the logo that I spent so much time working on uh, looks like the President's Choice brand logo. <laughs> Maybe don't bring that up because uh, we can see us. Oh, uh, fuck. It's a different color, so fuck you. His name's Galen Weston. <laughs> oh, is it? And he's a fucking billionaire. Great. So I'm sure Can't he wait. has so much time to do that. Probably. Fuck these guys. And How's he going to sue views. people with no money? What are they going to take? Michael Jackson record. <laughs> All right, what do we want to get to first, man? It's been a, it actually it hasn't been that long since we recorded last, so not much has happened. It's been a pretty slow week in terms of in terms of action. Um, okay, I guess one thing I wanted to get into first was um, the Vans challenge. And I was going to bring this up because I expressed to you the other day how stupid I actually thought it was. I think it's dumb. You were kind of into it, and we, I mean, we're both guilty of testing it out. Have you test, <laughs> Lyle? Have you tested it out? No, <laughs> you should do it. I'm no, you have he, Nikes. On. He has Nikes on, but they're in the style of a Vans shoe. Should I try it right now? Give it a try. They're pro- you know why? Because here's my theory. I'll take my shoes off and you can try them. We're gonna let them do it. Or, or, I'm also wearing Vans. We're wearing the same. Vans. How are we gonna get this content onto the camera? Uh, <laughs> I'll get across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to take off both shoes or just one? Just well, two is good, but actually, you so know what? No, just one's good. So, well, you know, make up your mind. I'm gonna do it this way. How about now? I'll do, <laughs> there we go. I'm just doing it with one. Cam reception. Boop. Yeah, just okay. do it with one. Ready? I'm gonna throw it over here. Yep. Oh shit! Ready? Ready? Round two. Oh no, I didn't get that one. That's fine. <laughs> See, but no, this is what I'm saying. I don't know why people are losing their fucking minds over it. It doesn't make sense. It's, See, it did it again. There's two for two. Why? Well, I mean, you're gonna have to take our word for it. In the sense that it's no, simple, why? fucking. Yeah. No. Well, it's they're bottom heavy. They're so they bottom lay. heavy shoes. It's a <laughs> canvas upper. <laughs> And it's a bottom heavy shoe. It doesn't make sense. The same, like Crocs, it's a round top. So obviously it's not going to stop. It's going to keep rolling to the heavy sole. It doesn't, like, it's not that hard to figure out. I don't know why people are freaking out over it. I don't get it. And now people are doing it with cowboy boots, which is, 
a whole nother thing. Well, those are very heavy, but it's like the the easy water bottle challenge. Uh, yeah. I think That's like, most yeah. people have like a 20% success rate when they do the bottle thing. Definitely if the, if the internet didn't ruin it, people could have made some serious dough off of a lat little party trick, but the internet had to go and ruin it for all the hustlers out there. What a shame. Uh, anyways, moving on. We're going to watch you tie your shoe. <laughs> We're just going to keep addressing a ghostly third figure that nobody is this super obfuscated and nobody knows who he is. Except for the fact that I said his name. I'm going to bleep your name out. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah. He's our new producer. <laughs> the person before you had four legs and didn't do anything and currently was still doing a better job than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, just know you're not getting the same memorial at this the end of the video. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know if you saw that. You see that? Did. You did? Good. Did you watch it all the way to the end? Yeah, I, I almost didn't. <laughs> it's my dog. It's your own. <laughs> in, my, well, in your defense, I didn't tell anybody. What? I didn't even hear you say. All right, back to the lecture at hand. Yeah. Um, okay. Can I pick one? Uh, sure. Pick one of the, actually, you know, pick any on there. Pick any. I, I bolded some ones that I thought we could talk about today, but you can pick any one right. on there you want. Cards against humanity. This is a pick two. I don't want to pick any of these ones. <laughs> can I shake it to refresh? No. <laughs> Why are they all bad? I don't know. I don't. Well, because they're things that happen to me. The things that happen to you is left up to your own responsibility. Pat. Ah, right. Good God. Um, one thing I did want, another thing I wanted to bring up. Was so I was telling you this when we were grabbing uh, some food. Uh, oh fuck! Which one, me or no, Lyle? Um, earlier tonight. But no, so this girl that I follow on Instagram for literally no reason at all. Um, she started a YouTube channel, kind of just like us, <laughs> but she made this video on uh, how to spot a fuck boy. Which, first of all, super dated term. Mm-hmm. Like, very, very dated term. Nobody uses that term anymore. I think we've just dialed it back and we just call everyone an asshole. Apparently, well, according to this video, every guy's a (laughs) fuckboy. Like, every guy on the planet. And I explained this to you earlier. Um, One of her statements was, it was like, oh, it's like, uh, number two. I'm trying. (laughs) Number two. Number two. On how to spot a fuckboy. If he ghosts you. He's a fuck boy. I'm like, no, no, no. That's not how that works. <laughs> like, you're just, it, just because a guy stops responding to you doesn't mean he's a fuck boy. It's, you could very well be super, super boring. Can I pause you? Ghosting okay. a girl, ghosting is to a girl. Not responding for four hours. No, <laughs> is not seeing the typing shit before they've even sent what they're going to say. <laughs> I'm going to make you elaborate. I'm going to put you on the spot right now. <laughs> I thought, I don't know. I didn't mean. I didn't mean point to, point retracted. I didn't mean to turn it into something like that. No, I don't know. I just thought it was like <laughs> the way that she was describing things were so like, like it was just so. Is it ambiguous? I, I want to use the word convoluted, <laughs> but I don't know if it's the right word because I'm just saying everything she said was like so biased mm-hmm. towards like, okay, if a guy ignores you, he's a fuck boy. Like, no, no, no. You're just fucking boring. It's not the guy's fault. Maybe he like he can very well not be into you, or you're boring as fuck, or you're a psychopath. There's many many reasons why he would stop answering. But he's not a fuck boy if he stops. And I even hate that. I hate saying that word. <laughs> I hate saying that term. But like he's not one of those people if he doesn't answer you. Yeah, people want to be fucking mad exclusive. Seriously, goddamn it! If I turn my fucking volume off. <laughs> you're stupid. Anyways, I don't fucking. I don't want to talk about Apex. But no, we me neither. Fucking have to. video games? No, I, like, we have to. Really? We, like, I have to. But I don't want to, but I think I have to. Because I have to address the fact that I'm taking the onus of being a humongous hypocrite. But, because I, I was so, like, against those type of games. Because, I, I mean, I fucking hate Fortnite. Describe those types of games. Fortnite, Apex. PUBG? Is PUBG uh, like Yeah, that? PUBG. Uh, but, kind of. And uh, Blackout or whatever. Those MMOs, if you will, in the nerd world. Oh, the big the gamer the world. Big, the, um, the G-Boy world. Massive Battle Royale yeah, sort those. of thing. Yeah. 
uh, I couldn't. I, I, I don't know. I just hated the game type. But then you downloaded it. I tried you're... Fortnite once, and that was just. Yeah. You're usually the guinea pig in terms of trying that shit out. It's poo. It's not good. And then our our good friend across the country tried Apex. Yeah. And I guinea pigged it, and you're like, all right, I was fuck like, it. Okay, fine. I was like, I'll download it. I'll give it a try. I'll see what it's like this one time. One time turned into two times, which turned into several times. And I'm not going to lie, it's not my favorite game. But I It'll like do. I can live with it because it's not as like animated and just garbage as what I assume Fortnite is. But you like realistic games, yeah, more so. Which is why I think I would like Blackout a little bit better. You like sports games and you yes. like the real ops, like the real military ops kind of thing. Yes, correct. So when you throw a game like Fortnite out, I'm like that is garbage. It doesn't grab your attention. Gar- no, not at all. However, it does. It has grabbed literally the planet's attention. <laughs> the whole planet. Yeah, but it's dying now. Uh, it's dying. Because of uh, fucking... Apex. Apex. And I, 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 Here's my thing, though. Because I thought it was just cartoon garbage. Both of them I thought was cartoon garbage. But I'll admit, when I started playing Apex, you kind of forget like how animated it is. Yeah, and you it's, really it's kind of nice forget. when you're with your buddy and you're, on, you're always on the same team as your bud. Yeah, if you play like if you play on um, squads and then ditch the third, uh, don't ever play with us because we're gonna ditch you. Like we're gonna leave you and go. We've as amassed duos. I think combined three <laughs> kills. I, I mean, so. I'm the worst in particular. <laughs> I've actually heard stories of somebody way worse. Somebody we know, um, but that I, I'm not gonna say the names. Apparently I really want to segue worst. into into oh, another gaming player. story. Okay. Go. Go ahead, dude. I remember that this time. This is what we do. We were online. We were playing Ghost Recon, um, Wildlands, mm-hmm. and you were kind of saying, we, you were having the same discussion about how realistic games was your shit. <laughs> like, this was it. And that game's like Call of Duty, but, you know, it's it's dope. I don't know, check, check it out. Check out some... I was, just when I was harping on how like how I'm, how much I like realism. I love the realism of this <laughs> game, and I fucking at that moment I crashed a helicopter into like a base, and you know got some loot and shit. And you're like realism, and I, and I was like, yeah, realism, bro. I'm like I'm sneaking up in the forest, going around back flanking, and you're in an attack chopper, not even using the guns. No, I've just you just, just take the whole it thing and use it as like a human kamikaze missile into the middle of you this were, fucking base. You were base. speaking phonetic. You're like whispering. You're like, all right. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. That was so fucking loud. Jesus Christ. Imagine how the enemy felt. <laughs> Stunned. <laughs> I mean you took out a hefty amount, but damn, you really blew the cover. <laughs> but that was good shit. What else have we played? We played Wildlands, we played Apex. We thought we played uh we tried to play Grand Theft GTA. That online is fucked. You got to be really early to the party on that. You can't just pick that game up yeah, four years after it came out. We're too late. We were too late. I mean, I, I was on it, but then I stopped playing it, and then now it's just too late. Lyle, do you play any video games? No. Not a no. gamer. You have an Xbox 360. I have a 360 Elite that's got massive red ring on it, so. Not a real G. Why do you have that thing sticking around your fucking house? Taking really up space. Play you went from playing first-person shooters to being a first-person shooter. <laughs> Yo, call the cops, dude. Call the cops. No, the guy teaches the cops. Oh, yeah. What? (laughs) He literally (laughs) hands them the AR, and he's this is how you use it. Um, What do you think about AB going to Oaktown, man? The Bay Area. He's fucking pissed. You were pissed? He's on the wrong side of the bridge. Fuck off. He's not going to. Oh, actually, yeah, I would actually like to see him in San Fran. I don't know. (sighs) This is where Gruden's trying to win some votes back, a little vote of confidence. A little bit, yeah, I think so. I just thought it was so funny how dead set he was on not going to the Bills. That's a fucking boss move <laughs> to just like you have no control as a player. You don't have control over where you go. You just go where they send you. And he had the fucking the big dick energy enough to be like, yeah, I'm not going there. I, I was panicked. Who the this. fuck are you? Antonio, um, we're going to send you to Ralph Wilson. You're going to you're going to be a bill. And he's going to say, nope. I'm going to drop everything. <laughs> I'm going to turn to the worst. I'm going to be on a slant route, wide open. It's going to hit me in the chest. It's going to hit the ground. I'm going to take all the money. I'm going to drop everything. And I'm going to be bizarro Larry Fitzgerald. Probably get cut. I turned you up, and now you're loud today. What the fuck? God damn it. 
Can you back down? I was sad last week. <laughs> it was a low energy day. God damn it. That's true. You're sad last week. You're tired this week. Fuck. Okay. You know what? We're on the topic of football. We were just talking about sports. And I was thinking the other week, I'm like, okay, what's some good like sports stories? I'm like, you played hockey. You've got to have some funny shit. That might have happened. Actually, let me say this. Are you okay to edit stuff? <laughs> of course, I do it every week. <laughs> what kind of stuff? Like a whole sentence or what? There's one time I was on this hockey team. Ah. And I was... Big picture of baby Keith up there. I was like the the young <laughs> year coming into this like... This is like a three-year age group. Mm-hmm. And our team, you know, you break up into colors. Like your line wears the color. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your line wears the color, so... <laughs> <laughs> this this unit wears white. This unit wears green. You know, my my unit was wearing black. And this dude who I'm actually pretty <laughs> cool with, like he and I are are, are buds. And if I see him around, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> where dude, is this going? I'm I don't know, man. It, I was just I was 15 years old on this newer hockey team with a bunch of full grown men who were you know men at the age of 18. Mm-hmm. This dude fucking ran me on the boards. You're gonna wear, you're gonna have to edit this. Why? <laughs> just don't say a name. I don't need to know. No, name. He, I won't say the name. But he just ran me on the board. He said, "Okay, like, wow." Now I'm definitely gonna have to, dude. He fucking. You could have said it without that. Uh, he said it verbatim. <laughs> he didn't. You didn't have to repeat it verbatim. Fuck me. So we can cut, cut that out. <laughs> Okay, um, have you ever been knocked out? Yeah, You've man. You've been conked? You probably have some undiagnosed concussion. I think maybe Most just definitely. one. I think my favorite, my favorite story that I can recall. <laughs> the irony. Grade 12 rugby, uh, a nice gangly beanpole, where number, <laughs> number 27 for the Sun Devils, I played hooker. Oh, right, yeah. For right, the right. long, long, long limbs to win that, win the rock. And, you know, I was definitely not the best player, but I could win that scrum because, you you know, you're in it and your head, you know, you're kind of cheek to cheek with the other guy. And you got to throw, you got, you got to win that ball, baby. You got to win that rock. So, you know, you get in his ear and you just kind of like lick him. <laughs> and they're like, oh, what the fuck? And then, oh. yeah, you win the ball and you're like, fuck, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, just hit him with. I yeah, mm-hmm. like wet willied him. I just <laughs> that'll fuck a dude up. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck a dude straight up, straight up. <laughs> that monster's coming in hot. Right? Just hit him with one right up the cheek, <laughs> <laughs> and then a quick one. You get your hand in there, like I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh. He just he's like yo sub sub now <laughs> sub me now this guy's Ow. trying to fuck me right now <laughs> get me I out. feel like I'm gonna get fucked more than the guy whose head is literally up my ass <laughs> my ass right now <laughs> oh my god I don't I don't think- that that was the goofiest one other times you could like you could like because you're holding the prop like this you can just like because it's fucking div like three high school you could just like drop an arm and punch him right in the face. <laughs> I never. <laughs> rugby didn't last long enough for me to get anything. Rugby like that. sucked. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, it's wet. I quit because I wanted to keep my teeth. You know. Yeah. I played the sport with the helmet. Bleep this name out. He's <laughs> got fucking all the jibs. Just the, he got hit by this guy and he smiles at the bench and they're all like Ooh. twisted. He also pooped in the uh, principal's pickup truck. Oh, wow. In high school, yeah. It's an alpha move. I wouldn't recommend it, but I wasn't kind of there a... for this. But I can. Um, the the story goes like this: the posse of them are like, "Oh fuck this person!" Blah blah blah. <laughs> um, and he's like, "You know, what? I'm gonna do it." So they're watching, and he's kind of talking to them while he does it. And he's like, "Yeah, we hate her so much." <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's just he's got that concentrated shit face. Just that. <laughs> this okay. is gonna feel so. Oh good. <laughs> oh no. But here's my thing. Who had the TP? Anybody have TP or did he just kind of nah, get rid just, of the boxers? Nah, sock. 
Oh, you can get it. Oh man, that's honestly impressive. You can get it all in one sock. Yeah, you think? I I reckon what you can do. I think those no show socks would be perfect. Actually, you put your hand in them like that. I think toilet paper should actually take that path. You could do two sides. You could do four wipes with a sock. One side, you should put your hand in it. There. Other side. Edge, and then edge. You, and then you kind of like grab the inside and you just like pull it inside Flip it out. inside out. <laughs> like a doggy bag? So if it's bad, you got four. You could probably, oh yeah, okay. I'm I've never done it, but. Yeah, I think toilet paper should take that avenue though. Like start making like gloves of TP. They'd have to be pretty thick though. Because I'm not taking that gamble. But I think that's a good avenue, a good start. You're trying we to should reinvent actually the wheel. Yeah. It's the, that's what people do nowadays. <laughs> they don't even think of new shit. They just reinvent the same thing. That's the way to do it. Is you, it not? Are you, you going to be, what's the, what's the TV guy's name with the beard who sold like bleach? Billy Mays or Willie Mays? Billy, Billy Mays. Billy Mays. Make you rest in peace. <laughs> Billy Mays here with the shit mitt. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, dude. There it is. <laughs> like, is it all five individu- yeah, individual? Yeah, you get all the fingers. fingers, so you can, you know, you get five wipes and the whole palm, and then the back, all the shit, and then you flip it and whatever. You're I don't know. Love my glove. Nice. We're we're hashing this out on on set live <laughs> the <shit> right now. <laughs> the shit mitt. It's definitely not going to go in stores probably because that's not family friendly. But that's okay. That's not the demographic we're going QVC for. QVC or. Uh, the showcase store in the mall that sells yeah they got old ads seen on TV store and the, the <laughs> that still sells hoverboards the non-stick pans <laughs> that don't work at all absolute shit oh man total I can, shit I can find ways for that to stick but you think me. actually you know what while I'm on this it just came into my head because while I was with this guy I was scoping through IG and Instagram uh, yeah <laughs> for you know the the oldies but Speaking of, on the topic of rugby, the fact that we were talking about rugby, uh, the rugby sevens, whatever the fuck that is, I don't pay attention to rugby, so I don't really know, (laughs) but the rugby sevens is here, whatever that is. Is that international teams? Sounds like a fucking total bigot right now. Yeah, they'll have like a dozen teams, maybe. Okay. Anyway, so everybody we know is there, except us three. (laughs) We're here. Had work? Work? Worked? Yeah. Sick. Sweet. Oh, here, getting the beans. <laughs> nice. Um, anyways, so a girl we know, I witnessed take a shot out of a rugby boot or a drink, whatever. Probably a beer, which already grosses me out. But out of a rugby boot, so that's disgusting. And I was just thinking, I've seen this multiple times in the last uh, month or so. I'm going to fuck a lot you of up times with some I'm truth. Bar stool here. What? Okay. This is a cultural thing. This is called a shoey. Mm-hmm. And this is very common in Australia. And. It's doing that thing. Oh, wow. Do you want to hit record, dude? Back to the back to the subject. Look how. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Nice. And we're back. Thanks, Jamie. Um, <laughs> having a producer is This is, sick. This is called a shoey, though, where you, yes. you pour like yeah, a, I see, yeah, I've heard of this. A drink into the... So, like, guys like Danny Ricardo from F1. Yeah. He's famous for that and, like, various... I find it disgusting because... True? I get... Okay, culturally, I get it. That's fine. Mm. <laughs> American frats don't really get it. Don't take off your boat shoe that you've been barefoot in for 17 hours straight <laughs> and throw a beer in there and chug it. That makes me want to vomit where I stand. That is fucking rancid. So gross. It's not yeah. like to do it out of your own shoe is one thing, but to give like, yo, dude, hook me your shoe right now. Let me do it out of yours. I'm not. I, <laughs> well, I'm just not into that because I wouldn't want my shoe getting. Fucking- exactly. That's another thing, too. You pay good money for those boat shoes. Probably, maybe, I'd assume. I've never shot for boat shoes. But. Hey, Barry, <laughs> let's drink some Sailor Jerry out of your Sperry. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking Jerry's out of Barry Sperry. Nice. Barry's a name that needs to come back with our name. Name your kids Barry. Barry. I know a lot of cool Barry's. Barry, Hank. Let's bring back, <laughs> let's bring back the old guy names for kids. Yeah, yeah, I've. You don't need to mute this, but this is this is knowledge, man. I gotta name my kid Murray. Murray. Yeah. I think that'd be fucking adorable. Hey Murray. What's your little bean name? This is Murray. <laughs> my little bean. That's like such a girl way to call like to call a child. He was born with my a little, cul-de-sac my haircut. little bean. <laughs> He's born bald. Balding, sorry. Socks and sandals for the He comes out with a full head of hair except here. He can barbecue better than me. 
At least he's not going to be uh, <laughs> that. Uh, he's not going to have a fucking skull blasted tattoo. I told him about that. too. Oh. <laughs> that was brutal. That's a rough way to cover up a, uh, a cul-de-sac. That's a rough, probably the roughest of ways to cover up a cul-de-sac. Because most people can ignore the fact that you're bald, but not many people can ignore the fact that you have a fucking huge tattoo on <laughs> no. top of your head. Even I think if you cover, if you end up growing hair for some reason, you can still see that. You're still going to see that because it's going to be unnaturally thick on top. All right. Would you rather get a tattoo on the top of your skull okay. or... Let's say under your eye, right here. Under my eye. Really? You're not going to lose your hair, though. Not going to lose. hit hit that for me. Thanks, brother. <laughs> doesn't work if he does it for you, man. <laughs> now it's going to happen tenfold. I'm definitely going to lose that shit. So you take the face tattoo. I think I'll do the, the face head. tattoo. I might as well just head dive head first into the whole thing. I would go SoundCloud rapper for sure. If I only had the choice between two... Because that getting the head tattoo, I'd have to shave my head. Mm. Nah. <laughs> but I think all hats exist. <laughs> Do they? I don't think you've never not worn one on one of these. Uh, one time. Oh, shit. One time they've seen my hair. Damn. And when I've taken it off to scratch my head. Yeah, are we assuming that we're, our hair's growing back or we're staying bald? Also, that's a thing, too. I think people have tattooed hair on their scalp. Yeah. Yeah. Hair on their scalp, wow. eyebrows on their face, facial hair, all that shit. Wow. All right. <laughs> uh, anyways. Like a prayer before dawn guy. <laughs> those Gucci Tough jock straps, dude. we're getting those. I think the first bit of donation money we get from this, I shouldn't say donation, I should say pledge. Pledge money. We'll do an we're, episode wearing them? We're getting a set of three Gucci jock straps for uh, 2,500 American dollars. That's about $17,000 Canadian. Probably, give or take a couple bucks. They're that much? Yeah. Fuck. To cover your dick in Gucci leather, Italian leather, with a padded cock bucket. You're looking, you're, it's giving you quite the, the bulge. I, I, you can't, it's not, you, uh, oh, you can kind of see it. It looks like a, a, a whale. It looks like the or, logo not a whale, to Dandelarian's company. <laughs> Holy shit. What's it called again? Ignite. Ignite. Yeah. Oh yeah, that super Ignite Nitro Glycerin Herpes AIDS weed. I imagine that, that company's shit. doing really well I for think the United so. States. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we don't really need it here. You can literally no. go online and like have have it to your house. It's legal, so you just... yeah. Okay, the mailman brings it. But they, I'm not going to harp on this too much because TMG does it. Uh, they talk about it. But he's trying to rebrand weed for like as a, like a party drug, and it's not working the way he wants it to because it's just like not that. I, I'm going to defend not that. that stance that he's taking, though. If it... I don't know if it keeps people from being <laughs> weed is better than other alternatives to, to put in your system. Right. Sure. Like mm-hmm. this, those other ones can seriously harm you. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, I agree with that. I fully agree with that. That's fine. But I not, just think he's no. trying to rebrand this thing into like, especially the way he brands it. Have you seen like any of the brand he's done for? Of course. It? It's doesn't? literally all. Well, it's the, the way he lives his life, it, mm. even his Instagram before this brand came along, yeah. it hasn't changed. It's just 30 models at a time, all naked, going on trips, private jets. Dude, PJs, all day. Hella nice cars, huge fucking house, and just him never wearing a shirt and short shorts. That's it. That's all they are. And then they'll, they'll just take an old IG video and just throw the Ignite logo on there. Be like, boom, branding, cool, done. That's it. Doesn't take a lot. <laughs> it really doesn't. Sex sales, man. Spike TV. Clearly. I just want to, I want to know, I want to look up his sales. I'm so curious. Just to, I don't know, I want to see. Um, do we want to harp on the whole Melly shit at all? To steal a page at a Noel Miller? The dude who did the speed run <laughs> on the rap career? <laughs> <laughs> we, you said, yeah, you definitely said that the other day, but for sure. He's got like fast as lap, of course. <laughs> He's got a fastest lap. He's holding pole position. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's qualified for sure. That was the quickest career I've ever seen you in really, my life. You really surprised me when you said that. What? Murder on my mind was not new. I don't think it is new. I'm actually going to look it I'm going to look it up because I don't think it was as new as people think it is. Because I quite enjoy that, uh, that song. Not for like, I could obviously be, not I could for the be lyrics wrong. or the, you know, maybe if it's. Uh, released in 2018. I'm sorry. Hmm. 
It's yeah. I mean, release into multiple personalities or whatever. Mixed personalities. Uh, yeah, mixed personalities. We've already forgotten him. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, it came out released March fourth on SoundCloud, twenty seventeen. That was weird. That mm. way I read that March fourth, twenty seventeen on SoundCloud. So it is an old song, and then it released as a single, I guess, everywhere else in twenty eighteen. But it got no, really didn't get much traction until all this shit happened and people wanted to decipher the lyrics. And that's what makes it so much more fucked up. Not not much to decipher. He straight up says what happened. Pretty much, yeah. But if you, once you like hear the more of the case and the details and whatever, and then listen to the song again, you're like, that is so fucked up. Because he really did that. He like faked a drive by, got out, picked up the dead dudes, and put them in the car and apparently drove around with these guys in the car Faking for like, that it was a drive by, I guess or drove. I honestly, like, I don't know if it was like to fake the drive by or like, as just like a sick fucking mind game. Cause clearly he's fucked up in the head, but he like drove around with them in the car before he brought them to the hospital and then proceeded to film this video where he's like holding a dead guy in his arms, like covered in blood and whatever. And you're like, how can you make that? video after you did this shit and just like like everything's fine like you're so fucked up in the head man it's so bad and he like like, oh man it makes it so much worse like one if you read more of the case and then listen to the song and it got like i think in a less than a week or actually in a day it got half a million streams half a million in a day that's pretty good a lot like that's crazy and that's like that was actually another thing um, cause I was listening to <laughs> one of little pumps new song. I did, couldn't listen to the whole album. There's no way I could sit through the whole album. So I listened to the one with Lil Wayne on it. Uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Cause be like me or it. some shit that, yeah, that one. And I'm just thinking like, I'm watching it and I'm like, fuck this, the way that these guys dress now, you're like, holy shit, dude. And it's like, and then I kind of got thinking, I'm like, man, they can, all that's all it's about is like fashion and jewelry or whatever. Like that's it because they're making so much more money nowadays than they were like, I don't want to say in the nine, it's like in the two thousands made in like the 2000s, even like from 2010 to 2013 or 20, 2007 to 2013, like the Nellies, the Eminem, like those rappers of like parents just stopped giving a shit saying they can't stop what their kids are listening to. And now it's just well, then it's the it's, it was the introduction of like digital media, yeah, for the most part. Because at when we were kids, it was it was albums, it was hard copy albums. Yeah, was a they, lot of they'd it. often ask for like supervision to buy it. Yeah, it was hard copy albums. Usually needed if it was like if it had parental discretion or whatever, you'd need adult supervision. Can we make a quick wager? Okay, if I can sink this no, can, no. <laughs> if I can sink it, you're gonna we, throw it over the Mac. Yeah, we never talk about Lil Pump again. After I'm finished this? Yeah. Okay. That doesn't mean move the can, Lyle. (laughs) Don't make it easier. (laughs) I want to talk about Lil Pump. I want to make this whole podcast dedicated to Lil Pump. You can get a drink everywhere. It's empty. Good, good. Hey, it's not my basement. I mean, sex dungeon. Man cave. Sure. (laughs) All right, here we go. Are you going overhand? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Oh, oh <laughs> not have, quite. Can I have balls back? <laughs> not quite, fam. Don't hit me with the Voss water. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a glass bottle. Oh, okay, if I hit the Voss. <laughs> that's easy. You're going to knock all that shit over. Dude, this is a disaster. This is for the no more little pump on the pod. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> little pump is staying on the pod. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I don't want to talk about this fucking guy either. But uh, back to, anyways, what, what was I saying? Oh, like money, right. Because they it was hard copy albums back then. That's like, I can only assume that's what majority of their money came from was hard copy album sales and concerts if they did tour. Because apparently festivals. even even artists nowadays, majority of their money comes from touring. That's It is, it is what it is. I don't know why. Because I think in terms of album sales, there's so many people they have to cut in. They don't make that much money. Yeah. So many people are writing their music. Mm-hmm. But nowadays it's all streaming and uh, streams count for like downloads and whatever, which makes the money. Wow. But there's so many more platforms that songs are available on now, like with Spotify and even and YouTube and YouTube money is through the fucking roof. 
because we're not making any of it. <laughs> but they're like YouTube money is through the roof, especially with all these songs getting hundreds of millions of views. That's millions, of, if not like just thousands of dollars, like tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars just off YouTube. And then you have iTunes money and downloads, Spotify, Google Play, all that shit. They get cuts from that. And then they have album sales, which is dwindling and almost none. But nobody they're still wants getting the whole album. Still getting albums. Nobody wants a hard copy. That's why nobody fucking cares. It, I think now because it's so easily accessible, being electronic, it's at our fingertips. We don't have to go to a record store and buy that shit. And it's also you're not seeing tangible money disappear. You could just like hit a download and be like, all right, they take my money and give me that noise, give me that, and that's that's it. So they're making that's what it, like the new money is tenfold compared to old money i think well not i think it's uh, pr- for sure <laughs> and i think like 90s and 2000s rappers sh- really needed to be smart with their money in order to have any kind of wealth now going into the old roaring 20s which i'm very excited for by the way can you believe that we're entering into the roaring 20s next year <laughs> people are always saying like i'm gonna throw big gatsby parties <laughs> no, no the fuck no, you're, you're not, not. You have any idea how expensive and hard to plan those are? You're not throwing those. I might have a little theme, be like, hey, show up in a top hat. But that's it. Like, <laughs> when has anyone ever been able to coordinate plans with, like, two other people? Nobody has ever thrown a costume party where everyone's shown up in the right costume. Like, There's I, always one guy who's like, fuck it. I'm going as a mummy. It's true, but, like... Or, like, I'm going as a Greek god, I, just in, like, a bed sheet. work with this dude, and he fucking, like, lined up a trip with 16 people. Yeah, fuck, dude. I get so jealous of that. <laughs> so unbelievably jealous of that. And we struggle with three of us. Yeah. <laughs> to get 16 people to go to the same place this at the same time. the first time we've had, like, one other friend in the room in, like, a month. Yeah. It's usually us <laughs> We are just that unlikable. In the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, <no comment. laughs> Glad to have you here, dude. Appreciate it. I feel like I want to take an intermission. I want to keep going. Really? Well, because I want to edit a bunch out and... Do this kind of you okay? I have I have a lot of energy, but I want to. You have it. other things to talk about. Now? Yeah, I think we do. Do we? Yeah, I think we do. I hope you do. We can. If you come and hit, can we hit an intermission though? Sure, let's do it. A little intermission, a little timeout. Blessed. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. perfect. Yeah, it couldn't be better. Can I fucking do anything else for you? No, you're good, dude. Couldn't be better. <laughs> Thanks, brother. And we're back from our little break. With actually, you know what? I'm gonna hit him with one of those weird fun facts of the day that I was just reading. <laughs> Oh, I love fun facts. Aren't, I had aren't one. Aren't they great? I had one, but I forgot it. Oh, fuck. I did too. Oh, I'm not even going to go past the first five. Um, I'm going to read the one that I read to you guys before. Uh, that's actually not funny. Never mind. The National Unicorn of Scotland is the unicorn. Did you know that? There's other the mythical ones creature. to choose from. The National Unicorn? The National Unicorn of Australia is... An <laughs> or Scotland. Are you trying to say the National... The national animal of Scotland is a unicorn. What did I say? Did I fuck that up? You said the national unicorn of Scotland is a unicorn. unicorn. Did I? Oh, shit. Are there other unicorns to choose from? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Three times. Uh, Dude. Yeah. Maybe you could choose a tunicorn. Whatever. Uh, Australia has over 10,000 beaches. It would take you 27 years to visit one every day. Isn't that neat? Neat. That's super neat. (laughs) Speaking of Australia, this fucking guy, this rugby player... We're all jumping back to the same old topics here. Uh, I'm surprised you actually haven't seen this. Because this guy is nuts. The newest Miami Hurricane commit. Six foot four, 215 pound punter. Tatted to the fucking gills. (laughs) From Australia. Used to be a scaffolder in the desert. Top of the dude. Top of the league mustache. Nobody knows his age. Nobody knows his fucking He looks 42. He's just like an AFL player, just like a brawn, brawny, beefy but tall guy, like lean. This guy, this guy is something else. There's no, he's gonna raise a couple of flags in terms of eligibility. You're I almost think. pinching a tent over this guy. What? What? <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I like your panache. Kid. I like him. I like him for sure. He's got, he's got uh, good heart. Honestly, I, I got really well. Not really. Do you have anything else? Hit him with something right now, just off the top I, of the dome. I was. Really thought I had a fun fact. I do did, it. and I was gonna do a whole thing on fun facts, but I fucking <laughs> forgot my fun fact. But I'm just not gonna do it. No, I forgot. Just not, you just forgot. It? Completely forgot my fun fact. The, this fact was fun. Okay. In fact, it was fun. 
<laughs> well, if it comes to your mind, feel free to. Yeah, but me. the thing is, I'm gonna fucking blurt it out, and it's gonna be the worst time. <laughs> Okay, well then I'll get into because I was pretty. This is, I was like, pretty, octopuses have a penis and it's a tentacle. <laughs> well, that's makes not. up another tentacle. <laughs> no, anyways, if you're from here, you know of possibly know of this place called uh, Kokoroo, and it's Korean fried chicken, right? Yeah, Korean fried chicken. Um, it's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna lie. Hence why we went back for more. But riddle me how a place. Built solely around selling chicken. <laughs> runs really runs out of really fucking hell. chicken. It's literally a place called Kokoro Fried Chicken, right? They ran out. <laughs> they they ran out of chicken. No, yeah. Riddle me that. I'm, I, am I the only Boys. one that's not flabbergasted by that? I mean, no. You're not flabbergasted by anything. They're, it's really hard to impress you. They're like so hard a to impress. Popular you. business, and I think that's awesome that they ran out of food. That yeah. they kill an- I've never seen. Okay, I've never seen Church's Chicken run out, and that was our alternative. That was our plan B. Literally, it's got it in the title. Church's Honestly, Chicken. If 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 it could, if you give it a letter, it'd be Plan Z. Because <laughs> I was could there. give it a grade. I'm not even sure that worst. was a chicken. I was like, that was like the chicken they that Champ kind was making in Anchorman Two. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, you never eaten bat before? Chicken of the cave. That's literally what it felt like I was eating. Flying AIDS rat. <laughs> Just a fucking oh jeez, we're gonna what? Oh, uh, our battery's gonna die. Battery. Better. You know what? Story's over. I'm gonna outro this. All right, thanks guys for tuning in to episode. What is this? Eleven. It's our Julio Jones episode. Jones. All right. Anyways. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to episode 11 of JK's Just a Podcast. If you like what we do and support the podcast, uh, the link to our Patreon is going to be in the description. Or if you're listening to on iTunes or Spotify or Google or any of them, bitches, uh, www.patreon.com slash just a podcast. If, uh, if you want access to bonus content, there's going to be bonus content on there. I'm going to be working on it. And that's going to be solely for the people that pledge money to have access to the Patreon. So do that. Um, because it's greatly appreciated and we want to get out of this sex castle. But no, there's a bunch of shit on there. Check it out if you want to look at the the different tiers that you can uh, donate to because there's different uh, rewards for each tier. Um, other than that, follow us on Twitter at JK underscore just the podcast. Anything else? <laughs> I think I'm done. You're done? Cool, so am I. See you guys next week. Later. <laughs>